What's up fellow pilots, Dr. McKay here and welcome back to my channel and we're back again with Star Wars Squadrons. Man, that last mission in that TIE Reaper, <whistles> you know, give me a few few times I was almost going to die but, you know, I managed to pull, pull away and managed to do it. So, this next mission I think we're still the Empire or the Rebels, I don't know, I haven't checked, but this is mission mm, 6, episode 7, so if you like the series so far, please hit that like button, don't forget to comment your thoughts on the series, and don't forget to subscribe for more. With all that said, let's jump straight into the story and continue off with Mission 6. Let's go. I do love the visuals. So amazing. What if I'm in a Y wing? Interesting. Hey, pal, over here. Yeah, Y wing it is. Hey, there you are. Was looking for you back at the dockyards. Instead, I had to hang out with a bunch of engineers. They told me a whole convoy of new engineers got intercepted by the Empire. No survivors. Sounds like they had someone on the inside at Hosni and Prime. Give them all the details. As you can imagine, everyone at the dockyard is pretty spooked. I got a Pazak game planned for them later. Oh, look at that, you to help boost morale. Gotta do our part, right? Say, between us, something's up. Something bigger than missing engineers. Ardo ain't talking, and the boss has been shut up in the briefing room all day. I feel like mm. he'd tell us if it was just about the lost engineers. Nah, this is something else. My money's on some kind of unfinished business, like a dark secret he left behind when he skipped out on the Empire. Or not. <laughs> what would I know, huh? Whatever it is, it's got to be something he can't fix with a giant battleship. Why don't you head up to the briefing room? The boss might open up to you. Hmm, you never know. I am the main character after all. Yeah, hello, droid. Wee. You're right, Lyndon. The contacts verified your suspicions. It's her. I knew it could only be Teresa Carroll. Her mark is all over these attacks. We know her style. You do realize there's only one reason she would attack Hosni and Prime in the engineering convoy. She's searching for Project Starhawk. That's why I've already taken steps to stop her. Before she can find the Nadiri dockyards. Before anyone else gets hurt. Lyndon, what have you done? Relax, Otto. All I did was send Teresa a message. One she can't ignore. It's a trap. Nope, that's wrong. Mon can't marry. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> we should get mm. started. An old project okay. of mine, Teresa Carroll is leading the Empire's search for Project Starhawk. She won't stop until it's destroyed. So I've initiated a plan. I sent a message that we know was intercepted by an Imperial listening post hidden near Esselus. Bait for Teresa. And now that the Imperial post has served its purpose, we're ready for part two. If we destroy that listening post, Teresa will think we have something to hide and follow that message to the letter. Vanguard, I want you to take Y-Wings with heavy ordnance to that post in Esselus and bomb it to oblivion. A Corvette will join you to draw Imperial fire. Gunny will support and resupply our bombers. These are your targets. We've identified the receivers along the hull as weaker areas. Destroy them all. Additionally, destroy the thermal regulation systems along the exterior trench and any dishes atop the listening post. If you pull this off, 
We'll rob the Empire of a valuable asset, and then Teresa will fall right into our trap. Okay, okay. Teresa Carroll was my second in command at Fostar Haven. She was my protege. She's gone from a Coruscant street orphan to captaining her own Star Destroyer. The Empire gave her everything, and she'll do anything to defend it. That's why I'm keeping certain details quiet. With Teresa in the game, any leak is a risk. Just trust me a little longer. Head to the hangar. Zerelda should have your ship almost ready. Okay, okay. Uh, I've got to talk to you as well. I have to say, the commander's plan is quite clever. All this secrecy and subterfuge, it's almost imperial. I know the New Republic strives to be better than the Empire, but you must admit their tactics are effective. Not that we should adopt them, of course, but this is war. Sometimes you have to think like your enemy in order to defeat them. We're lucky the commander is using his tactical brilliance for our side. Let's focus on the mission. Mm -hmm. so now there's no one else here. Let's go. When Javes talks about Carol, you can feel it, right? He must have cared about her greatly to feel such pain. I don't think it's a coincidence that the Empire sent Teresa after Javes. This feels personal. They must both be hurting. And hurt can so easily turn to hate. Hate that cannot be healed has no place in the galaxy. If fighting it has become the only option, so be it. Are you ready? I think so. Been eager to get my hands on a Y Wing. So the next wing A Wing. Now it's time for a Y Wing. There we go. Preparing for launch. Y Wings are built to carry bombs and other heavy explosives. It makes them slower, but they pack a punch against large targets and capital ships. Stick with standard, I think. Alright, I'm ready. Alright, hopefully it's not as, what can I say, sluggish as the TIE Reaper. So, uh, with the Empire eavesdropping on New Republic comms, do you think Teresa Carroll overheard everything? She only cares about finding her Starhawk, Frisk. Oh, sure, sure, still. Better bomb this listening post into oblivion, right? For the safety of our new battleship, and for no oh, other that's reason. Cool. Here you go. Squadron. We're closing in on the listening post now. Excellent. Upon arrival, you should be able to overhear some Imperial chatter. You can thank Ardo and his Double front. work later. Let's form up with our Corvette. It'll run interference during the strike. This listening post in the middle of nowhere. How'd the boss find this place again? He sent a message, specifically hoping the Empire would intercept it and reveal the outpost. They took the bait. Talk about a long shot. No way he could have known that would work. Unless the message he sent seemed so enticing the Empire had no choice but to intercept. What could be that enticing? That's the thing. Jays won't tell us. But it's a seed that will sprout into a trap. Let's focus on this mission and worry about the details of the trap later. Yeah, I won't look around the cockpit, I think. You think the Empire built this listening post just to help them find the Starhawk? This one, perhaps, but it isn't the last listening post eavesdropping on the galaxy. Well, 
they do seem hell-bent on finding us. I bet the Empire cannot stand that we're building a new ship out of their old ones. There's our listening post. I'll jam Imperial sensors on approach. I love it. They'll never see us coming. Let's make them regret eavesdropping on the New Republic, huh? And just like that, we're hidden from Imperial sensors. Follow me, Five. We'll lead the bombing run. Grace and I will take care of station defenses and starfighter patrols. Here we go, Five. Give them everything you got. Are you okay? You're almost there. On my mark. Okay. Locking up. 
taking heavy fire. Get in there and help them out, Five. Thermal system destroyed. Temperatures are rising. Heads up! I got eyes on ties! Then. Woo! All right, team. Regroup and prepare for hyperspace jump. Can't believe we lost the Corvette, but Y-Wing's not exactly fast. Squadron, our trap is set. Come on home. It's time for the next step. Yeah, I'm definitely not getting a medal for keeping the Corvette alive. But, whew. That was not easy. The Y Wing's not exactly the, the nimblest. Packs a punch, but damn. Didn't save the Corvette. Oh dear. Well, I think I'm going to end it there, guys. Yeah. One mission per episode. Let me know what you think of that mission. That was pretty neat. The bomber is a tank. It does take a lot of damage. And it deals a lot of damage as well. Nice. It's a nice all-round ship. I quite like it. 
Yeah, let me know what you think of the Y-Wing down in the comments below. And if you like the video, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more. Also, you're probably well aware by now, I'm also giving away Star Wars Squadrons when I reach 500 subscribers. So please check out the video in the description telling you about how to obviously be entered in for a chance to win it. With all that said, thank you for watching. I've been Dr. McKay. Fly safe and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.